what's up you guys and of course welcome to another alternative factuals video uh sorry for the videos kind of being close together later in the week um it's been a crazy week so the video is going to be shorter so that way i can still give you three videos per week and i'm going to make sure i isolate my points so that way it don't go past at least seven minutes well at most seven minutes technically um but before we dive into any you know details of the video please be sure to like share and of course subscribe leave your comments down below let me know what you're thinking let me know what you're feeling and without further ado, let's kind of just dive into this. Okay, so this is what I want to talk about. I saw this in a chat. You, know, you can go on Facebook, join groups, you know, based on the Flash and fan groups and stuff like that. But someone brought up the fact that that um, blood work is not going to be in the second half of the Flash TV show. And I don't know if they're taking more of an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. approach when it comes to they having two separate uh, villains in the season based on the first half and the second half. Or is it that blood work is possibly the key to a lot of this, you know, Crisis on Infinite Earths event? and i'm going to explain myself now when it comes to you know the flash and you know the speed force when it comes to the, a lot of the concepts that are introduced into the show a lot of this is based on choices that characters are made now obviously you can immediately immediately affect the timeline simply by you know time traveling that's easy you know every speedster knows how to time travel at least to some degree and affect the timeline in some way shape or form but this is what i mean where he might be the key now we do know overall that um that let's say for example when barry allen travels when he first initially traveled even in this season to try and see who or what was responsible for the antimatter kind of being introduced into the season overall um i think what was going on is that yes he was trying to see what was going on he had the mobile version of gideon and he didn't want to affect the timeline directly but ultimately when you time travel you're trying to see what was the catalyst for this timeline taking place what happened specifically what one event caused these whole sequence of events to take place in such a form that you know the antimatter universe was or the antimatter period was taking over and consuming the positive matter universe and a lot of people were speculating that it's possibly blood work and like i said blood works powers include things like you know manipulating uh people who obviously have some sort of blood in them so it doesn't just limit him technically to the i guess human blood to you know that's never really been to uh, explore too deeply even in the comic books he's only showed up for about like three or four issues in dc rebirth when it comes to the flash so i'm not going to make an assumption but i'm uh, well naturally he can control any human being or any you know carbon-based life form who has similar blood or blood patterns or you know coagulation features like human beings so ultimately he's 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 no joke he can definitely control a ton of people if he wanted to as well as he gets more powerful the faster his heartbeat goes so the reason why i think he might be the key to this whole situation is because when we were initially introduced to him in episode one already you know he was dealing with a lot of grief and grief usually can cause people to make very poor decisions or decisions that often are not very beneficial to you know the greater of mankind because they're in an emotional state in which they feel like yes this happened i'm upset i'm angry and then either they're angry at the world or they're angry at themselves or they feel like they have to find someone to be angry at in order for them to kind of feel like they can function and basically what he's angry at right now is he's angry at humanity he's angry that people have to die from cancer he's die he's, he's upset that people have to die period he wants people to be able to live forever so that way no one has to go through the experience of living without their significant other their loved one their family members he's pretty much angry at the human biology which what triggered him you know trying to figure out what's going on with the human blood which um, caused him to actually find something that was killing the cancer cells, but because it relied on dark matter, ultimately it interacted with his blood and made him a metahuman, you know, by circumstance. Now, even though he has these powers, even though all this stuff you see is going on for the future of the Flash, basically, uh, I think it's episode three, um, episode, uh, where basically we're gonna see like, you know, the body that he attacked in uh, episode two, episode one, uh, episode two. And basically that body that he attacked, ultimately he's gonna be, you know, uh, trying to figure out how his power work you know what it does to the human body and then he's going to see that he's going to be able to control these people and control blood and you know many various different forms of life forms so once he sees i guess i can control this then ultimately you know his grief will ultimately turn him into a monster but also because of the choices that he's making in this timeline which you know controls people ultimately i feel like the monitor might well not the monitor the anti-monitor might actually approach him because they already established in the episode that just passed um this tuesday 
that if the monitor was going around warning people, letting them know about the upcoming crisis, letting them know that yes, this is going to happen, this is something that's going to be taking place throughout the entire uh, multiverse, then of course the anti-monitor was doing the same and they confirmed this in that episode. So I believe he's going to be one of those people that the anti-monitor is going to approach due to the nature of his powers. Now for those of you who are not really familiar with the anti-monitor, uh, for the most part his goal is to bring the multiverse into nothingness. He wants to bring the multiverse to the anti-matter you know, concept. He wants to bring that into a reality, which is why you know the speed force has you know anti-matter blocked out. Um, and I did call that actually in the video with the flash where I said the antimatter, you know, the whole concept of crisis and antimatter and everything is going to affect the speed force. Initially, it did not affect it in the 1984 Crisis on Infinite Earths comic book simply because the concept of the speed force was not invented until the you know 1990s when it came to you know Wally West and his you know flash abilities and stuff like that. So ultimately, the concept of the, the speed force, the representation of the forward momentum that it you know pretty much personifies everything in the universe progressing evolving changing um basically i knew it would affect you know the speed force and you know the antimatter would have some sort of involvement with the speed force itself now the reason why this is important is because the anti-monitor wants to prevent things from progressing he wants the universe to stop growing he wants the multiverse to stop growing so he's going to approach people on different earths who can affect their universe or just their earth or the key components of that universe in such a way to the point that they can get the results that he's seeking to do. Now, when it comes to blood work himself, he can manipulate you know, other human beings, other people, which includes people who might have access to the speed force. It's been done before that, you know, he was able to manipulate the Flash to some degree in the comic books. So the Flash had a really hard time trying to, you know, take him out, you know, defeat him due to the nature of his powers. And in the TV show, obviously they might take a different route. So obviously I see them kind of doing something slightly different, but ultimately he might be able to manipulate the Flash who can manipulate the timeline who can manipulate the speed force, who can ultimately make sure events play out in his universe a certain way so that the anti-monitor can win. So it's all about, you know, this butterfly effect, you know, uh, the anti-monitor coming to blood work, who can possibly manipulate the flash, who, you know, is the personification in a lot of ways of the speed force, the forward momentum of the universe, the development of the universe. And then ultimately, if he can get blood work to manipulate him or control him, Eventually, the Flash could do something that can cause the events of, you know, the antimatter to affect the positive matter universe. And then, you know, we can have a cascading of events, which ultimately destroys, you know, that universe as well as, you know, the events that feed into the multiverse. And then we can have a huge problem in general when it comes to the speed force and blood work is basically the center of what was happening. Now, obviously, I don't know if that's true or not because I do not work for the show. I'm not reading the writer's minds. This is obviously just a prediction. This is something that somebody said that does actually make some sort of sense, you know, due to the nature of Bloodwork's powers. He can manipulate the Flash, who can manipulate the Speed Force. And remember, we did see the Flash running into the Speed Force and disappearing. So maybe at some point he was manipulated and realized the events that he'd, you know, been manipulated to do affected the timeline and he was trying to run back and change it. But, you know, ultimately he died and it's just, you know, it's, everything possible you know it's you can't really say it's impossible for them to you know not include blood work in the sequence of events and say that you know his powers are not the single event that causes this you know whole cascading of events to take place in the multiverse you never know but let me know what you think in the comments down below and if you're new to the channel please be sure to like share and of course subscribe leave your comments down below let me know what you're thinking let me know what you're feeling and i hope to see you later on peace out